Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 10th of February. James Spann, cold, messy, unsettled winter weather this week. We've got two distinct waves of precipitation and uh, certainly with the first one, a chance of some winter weather problems. So let's look at the big picture. I'm trying to answer all your questions. This is kind of an overview of what's happening. This is the water vapor satellite imagery. And on top of that, these are the contours where the pressure is 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. Troughing developing over the east that will deliver colder air, an energetic southern stream with two waves on the way. Now, today, no problems. Often we maybe don't communicate the timing as clearly as we should. No issues at all today. We're starting off the day down here in the 40s, uh, Birmingham 43 at uh, daybreak. And we'll, we'll stay in the 40s all day today, but colder air to the north will be spilling in here. And it's very possible for some spots temperatures might begin to fall this afternoon, as you can see what's happening to the north here in the 15 to 20 below range up on the Canadian border. I mean, it has just been unbelievably brutal up there this winter. I mean, it's just been bad. And uh, that will be easing in here in relatively shallow form down to the I-20 corridor, and that shallow nature of the cold air could lead to some freezing rain problems, which is one of the concerns. Now, instead of winter storm warnings, we have winter weather advisories for North Alabama along and north of Interstate 20. And uh, there's still a degree of uncertainty as to the you know, exact placement of the, the rain, freezing rain line, the amount of precipitation that falls. Uh, it looks like it will be sufficiently light for an advisory and not a warning. But we all know for an advisory, you can have some big issues as well. Uh, it looks like the Weather Service in Jackson has posted a winter storm warning for some of their cities along US 82. Uh, and also a winter storm warning in effect for parts of northeastern Georgia. And then a whole other series of winter weather advisories across the uh, southeastern part of the United States. This is the possibility of greater than one inch of snow from 6 o'clock this evening until 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. And the snow possibilities are, you know, in the 30 to 40 percent bracket uh, for parts of north central Alabama. And uh, uh Honestly, you know, the biggest concern is always going to be ice. Typically, when it snows, you don't have power outages. Uh, you know, the, the roads are bad, but they could be worse. And understand, this is nothing like the January 28th event when it was 18, 19, 20 degrees and snowing. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be uh, like 30 to 33 degrees. So a radically different situation. Uh, but again, clearly to the north, of uh, I-20, there could be some snow, but this is uh, the one that's a little more concerning. This is the possibility of accumulating freezing rain, the chance of icing. Uh, and this is from uh, midday today, noon today until noon tomorrow. And the uh, numbers are actually uh, really high. The higher probabilities are over there uh, at or just south of Anniston, really. Uh, and, and there's a lot of complicating factors. And one of the things that we'll deal with uh, this week it's cold air damming that's colder air that drains in from the east especially with this second wave and, and again we'll address that as we go let's just look at the these accumulation maps and these are from the weather service and i think these are good and i'll just use them because they clearly express what i think we all believe this is the ice accumulation potential uh, that blue line should approximately be the edge between a cold rain to the south and freezing rain to the north and understand that it's very hard to draw that line and there can be errors we all know that uh, 30 40 mile errors and so tuscaloosa birmingham anniston is just on the edge for these larger cities it could be a cold rain with no ice at all on the other hand it could be a skating rink tomorrow morning with temperatures around 30 and it's raining and we've got bridges and overpasses that are very icy and maybe some of the blacktop roads could be icy in spots. Um, 
And as you can see, the guys at the Weather Service are talking accumulation of ice maybe up to one quarter inch. And if we, if we get a quarter inch of ice, that could be enough for some scattered power outages. With the warmer infrastructure, based on the, the mild day we had yesterday, I don't think this is going to be a crippling ice storm, you know, where the, the power outages are, are massive and people are without power for days and days. I don't think that's going to happen. But there could be some scattered outages with this. The good news, we should go above freezing, you know, by midday tomorrow, and that will, you know, eliminate a lot of the ice if indeed we see ice. And again, I stress, please hear me when I say this, that blue line, there's not a lot of skill in, in painting that thing down. There could be a 30, 40 mile error. So for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, you have to plan on some icing. But if if by chance that line is farther north, it's just going to be a cold rain and there'll be no big deal at all. So it's a very close call for those cities. Uh, but here's the snow map, snow, sleet and snow accumulation map. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, less than one inch. I don't know if we see many snowflakes at all in those cities. There could be a little bit, but probably not much. Clearly, the greater concern is ice, and they've still got this uh, one to three inch band of the north. That might be a little too aggressive. Uh, I'd say maybe an inch or two for cities like Fayette and Cullman and Aniana and Gadsden and Center and Hamilton uh, and Vernon, uh, places like that. Uh, and then as you go to the south, again, it's just going to be a cold rain. Uh, below Interstate 20, everybody down there, just cold rain. But as we all know, the, drawing those lines can be very tricky, and this is fluid, and it could clearly change. Let's look at some more maps. Uh, first off, modeling. Uh, this is the 06 ZGFS valid at noon today. And then you've got the northern branch delivering the colder air, the southern branch this energetic, and down below that, little light rain could break out during the day today. Just a few sprinkles. I think the day will be mostly dry, and we'll hold in the 40s. Uh, we'll kind of hover between 45 and 49 this afternoon. That's a 1,037 millibar high to the north over the Dakotas, helping to feed down colder air. Let's look at the RPM model. Uh, this is a good high-res model. I think it has a pretty good handle on this. Uh, this is tonight at midnight, and things are still quiet. So really, any problems would come after midnight tonight. If you've got an event planned this evening, we don't expect any issues. Uh, between 6 and midnight. All right, this is uh, tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, and this is when it could be kind of messy. The shades of pink, that would be freezing rain. The shades of blue, that would be snow. And the green, that's rain. And again, that uh, line with the freezing and frozen precipitation is pretty much near or maybe just south of Interstate 20. And uh, that's where the greatest chance of freezing rain will be. The greatest chance of snow will be to the north. And clearly, the models have been trending drier in that snow zone up there. That's why I'm not so sure, you know, we see three inches up there, you know, one to two inches. And even that might be too aggressive. But clearly, there's a chance of snow tomorrow morning for Cullman and uh, Hamilton and Gadsden and places like that. This is noon and everything goes green as the thermal values come up a little bit. Precipitation shield is south of the uh, critical thickness values. So uh, while we have the chance of that wintry mix tomorrow morning, it looks like by late morning, uh, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, will be in the mid to upper 30s, and what falls would be just rain at that point. So uh, again, this first wave should be a relatively short-term issue. Um, this is the snow accumulation potential coming off the NAM tomorrow at midday, and it's got just basically nothing for North Alabama. It is not bullish at all on snow, and even the RPM is not bullish at all on snow accumulation. So, you know, that, that really throws some uncertainty into the chance of snow accumulation for, for the U.S. 278 cities, Hamilton, Cullman, and Gadsden. We're still going to mention the chance of some snow there, but clearly, some of the mesoscale models just are saying not much at all. This is the freezing rain potential for Birmingham coming off the Buffkett analysis tool. And again, it's if by chance that uh, bright blue line is correct, and I think that's the uh, OZGFS, that's not good. That's a quarter inch of liquid uh, that would be freezing rain. Even it ramps it up to almost three-tenths of an inch, and that would be bad. Uh, other runs are showing hardly any at all, but clearly the, the the message is that that's going to be the biggest issue for Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, and Anniston. And this is the uh, synoptic scale map. This is uh, midday tomorrow coming off the uh, GFS. So wintry mix late tonight, tomorrow morning, then rain perhaps, just light rain tomorrow afternoon. 
Now, this is tomorrow night at midnight. Here comes the second wave entering the state, and this is midday on Wednesday. Let's talk wave number two. That, if cold air is in place, could be a very effective winter weather situation for North Alabama. Surface low in the Gulf. You can see a big rain mass over South Alabama into the north. The question is, will that be rain or freezing rain or sleet or snow tomorrow night into Wednesday morning? Look at the uh, NAM, North American Mesoscale model. This is 6 o'clock Wednesday morning. Uh, the blue line, that is 35. The uh, uh, orange line, that's 32. And if the NAM is right, these thermal fields suggest it's just going to be a cold rain Wednesday morning. No problems here. It does depict freezing rain in Georgia, uh, northeast of Atlanta. But the NAM, I think maybe again, or I'm sorry, the uh, RPM maybe has a better handle on this. And that is a really ugly icing problem for North Georgia. This is Wednesday morning at uh, 10 o'clock. I mean, this is uh, very bad for Atlanta, and it could be very bad for parts of northeast and east central Alabama. This is suggesting some snow around Scottsboro, maybe down toward uh, Cullman. Uh, but here's the deal. This is cold air damming. We often call it the wedge. This is where very cold air drains down the slopes of the Appalachian Mountains from the northeast United States. And it comes down from the northeast. And the models typically don't handle wedge events well. Um, and uh, I, I genuinely have concern that we might see some really significant freezing rain problems for our east and northeast counties uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, and that would include places like uh, all the way down to Roanoke and up U.S. 431. Uh, that would include Anniston and maybe Gadsden certainly places like Center and Leesburg and Heflin. Uh, so we we really need to kind of get tonight's event out of here before we can focus on this, but I think we need to raise the flag. There could be some wintry weather problems late tomorrow night and Wednesday morning, especially over east and northeast Alabama. And again, if this is right, that would be a very devastating type ice storm from east Alabama over to Atlanta. And then big snows uh, around Greenville, South Carolina, up toward Asheville, North Carolina, it's very messy, and that's going to be a problematic situation. And we're going to just kind of start to raise the flag on that, and we'll certainly fine-tune that uh, tonight as we get closer to that event. All right, Thursday, it's all out of here. Good riddance. So long. Uh, the, sky, the, the sky becomes sunny. We should hit the high around 50, and this is Friday. Uh, should be a mostly sunny day with mid-50s. Sounds good. What about the weekend? Hey, how about 62 on Saturday? That's what the GFS is showing. And Sunday, 65. We'll be out there in the tank tops and flip-flops. <laughs> That's fantastic. So a marvelous, marvelous dry, mild weekend ahead. Monday of next week, got ridging. It's a week from today over the Gulf, kind of nosing in here. And again, that looks very mild with highs in the low to mid-60s. Go out there longer. This is the 22nd of February. Got a cold front coming in with a, a batch of uh, showers there and... Uh, Looks like maybe some cold air would follow that a couple of days beyond that. All right, that's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday, and God bless.